Hello everybody, Game Bros here, and welcome to episode 44 of Truck Simulation 19. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful Tuesday, and let's get this episode started. So, um, yeah, it's been a while since I played this game, so I decided to make some videos, some video, a video of it today. So, let's get this thing in a roll, and... As e per usual, we're just going to start off the episode by sleeping. And then we'll choose a job. Hopefully it's a good job. I like to keep I like to keep my videos around 20 minutes in length. Um, but actually, news, guys. So this is big news. Big, 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 big news. Um, well, I mean, I'm not sure if it's actually good news. But um, I got my first copyright... No, I'm, I'm, I wasn't copyrighted, but got my first copyright type notice because I made an uh, uh, I made an episode of Asphalt Eight Airborne yesterday, or last night, and what happened was is that um, some of the music did it belong to me, and they were like, uh, "This is our music, you can't use it." So I was like, "Darn." Um, I was kind of upset to be honest. To be honest, I was, I was just a little bit upset because you know who likes being copyrighted. Okay, I already know this is going to be a long. This is prepare for like maybe a, a good thirty-minute episode. Just prepare for it. Prepare yourselves for it because this is even though it's only seventy-five hundred credits, it's twelve hundred miles. Twelve. Hundred miles, man. That's a lot of miles. I'm just saying, that's a lot of miles. And we're taking peanuts again. Okay, so let's hook up to the trailer, and we're going to Boston, Massachusetts. And I hope there's a gas station there. I really do. Um, Boston. Yes, there is. Okay, there's a gas station in Boston. Okay, so. Let's go. Let's get this uh, load on the way. And I, I have no idea where, where are we. Where are, where are we? Where are we coming from? We're coming from Atlanta. Okay, we're coming from Atlanta. I think this will this will be fine. This will be fine. We'll be fine. We will be fine. But yeah, I got my first copyright notice. That was fun. Um, thankfully, uh, my video didn't have to be blocked. Um, because, you know, I wasn't making any money off of the video, so they didn't block my video. Um, so that made me happy. Um, and the thing was that I, that I learned, um, and actually, I've been meaning to talk about this for a while now, but I guess now is better than ever. So recently, um, I've been scammed by two YouTubers, um, if I can call them that. Um, the first one I'm talking about is I just so it was only recently, um, and uh, this is a YouTuber named Eximer Tracks something something along those lines. Um, it's X I M E R. You'll know him when you see him. Um, and his account says sub to me, which is already you know kind of a bad sign. Um, and he has, there's an account with no videos on it, then there's another account he has that's chock full of videos and all sorts of stuff. And, I'll t and he'll, like, send you, um, a comment that'll be like, hey, you know, want to be YouTube friends and stuff like that? Um, that's a scam. He's been scamming since 2006, so a little over, um, a little over, let me think. 14 years. Yeah, he's been scamming people for 14 years. Has a, a lot of subscribers, too. He has a lot of subscribers. Um, the other one that I want to warn everyone about is a guy. He's, he's Now, this guy's known by a lot of names. Anyone whose name it goes by Tom, Tim, or Tem, or the Comical Canadian, or Tyler, or Tyler Winter, anything like that, that is also a scammer. Um, I've been scammed a lot by him, 
And the whole thing behind these, behind these, uh, b b the main goal of this, this scam is basically to get subscribers. So the thing is, they target small YouTubers like me, because like I only have 15 subscribers, right? Um, so they target really tiny. You, I mean. Even if you have a couple, a couple or even a few hundred, you're not you're not safe. So you say small. They target tiny YouTubers, small YouTubers like me, um, and basically say nice things like you know, hey, great content, you know, great content, keep up the great content, um, awesome video, you know, want to be friends, stuff like that. Um, and as you know, small YouTuber, generally you're like, oh, someone commented on my, someone likes my video. Okay, this is cool. Um, let me let me go, you know, check out their channel. Now, like on Tom Tim, the comic, the comical comedian's channel, he he has uh like four videos, like how to get views, how to get likes, how to get subscribers, right? Like, oh, this is pretty cool. I think I'll subscribe. Um, and that's the whole gig right there. The whole thing is just for them to get subscribers. So watch out for those guys, and I think really it's a horrible thing to do. YouTube needs to ban both all people who do that because to me that hurt. That really, really hurt. I almost, I, I kind of considered stopping making YouTube videos for a second because, you know, for a second I thought that someone actually liked my videos, and it turned out that all the entire time it was just a bot. Just a bot, and the whole thing was to get me to get them. It was to get me to subscribe to them for for them. Um, so yeah, it kind of did did hurt, but you know, I'm I, I I'm not going to. I'm gonna keep making videos. As you see, I kept making videos. Um, and I think I do think one thing you do, you will look for you lo you will look for is and. This is actually something that should have caused me to be very suspicious at first, but I wasn't suspicious uh, when it came to it. It was only until later that I really started thinking about it, but one thing you'll notice is that with these guys, like on YouTube Studio, I have the app on my phone, you look at the video, and you know, first of all, they'll say, you know, great video, right? And you notice that literally all they've done is go on to the go on to your video comment gr good video um, and that's it they like maybe they didn't even watch the video um, that's the first that's the first thing that should tip you off the second thing that should really tip you off is when you see things like for example um, on one of my I think it was I think it was one, one of actually truck simulation 19 videos I got a comment from X in my air tracks and but on the video it showed a comment but no views and that's be and, and, that, and that sort of stuff should really tip you off it really should um, because that shows you're being spammed or botted whatever term you uh, term you produce so just just watch out for those guys I mean they don't go after the big youtubers because they'll never be seen Ever. So they go after small YouTubers um, that they know you'll see the comments and everything like that. So, um, and I think that sort of stuff's horrible. I think that sort of stuff is horrible. Like, get a life, dudes. Like, if I, okay, like for example, I would, uh, like, Tim is at like what, 300,000 subscribers? If I ever get to that number, I want it to, I want to get to that number because I earned it. Not because I scam people into subscribing. I want to be. The, get, I want to get to that number because hey, people genuinely like my content, and they want to see more of my content. That's how I want things to go down. Not because I scam people and cheated. And why are you not turning? There we go. Um, that's how. I, that's how I want to do things. That's how I want want to. Do. And I hit a okay. You know what? Fudge you, might. Um, <laughs> that's how I want things to to go down. I want to earn my subscribers. I want people to look at my content, be like, oh, you know, I like this guy. He does really good content. He, you know, I like his videos. I'll subscribe. 
That's what I want. That's how I want my channel to grow. Not through scamming people into into um um into subscribing. So and more likely, more likely, they're in it for the money. Because think about it. You know, they have three hundred thousand subscribers or at least over at least a hundred thousand subscribers, both of them, right? Plus the fact that Plus the fact that they, um, the videos, um, are really popular. Cause think about it, you're a small time YouTuber, right? You want subscribers. You want you, you want to get more subscribers. You want to get more views. You want to get more um, likes. Who doesn't want any of that, right? So those sort of videos attract attract people, and people watch them, and therefore, that's how they make their money. And really, it's horrible. It really is. It's you're taking advantage of people. Really, you're. you're that's what you're. That's what they're doing, and that's what I hate about them. They are taking advantage of people. They're taking advantage over the fact that you're a small YouTuber. Not a lot of people may. Not a lot of people watch your videos, and so they make it seem like they really like your videos. Like, hey, I finally got someone who likes my videos, only to realize that they don't like your videos. In fact, it was so funny. I was kind of scarred by the whole Tom Tem comical comedian thing, because what I did immediately when X I M E R tracks um, went uh, 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 put a comment. You know what I did? I looked them up. I wanted to see if they were legit. Um, when I saw their channel, I was like, okay, you know, it looks like they're legit. They have an actual YouTube channel. Okay, we're level 38. Yay. Um, but then I saw videos about how they were a scam. And, I, and then that irritated me. I'm like, of course. Of course you were a scam. You don't care about my videos. You just want me to subscribe to you. So it's it was it was really irritating. Oh my god. Oh my god. Titan. That was Titan. Yeah, it was just really really irritating. I'm still irritated just thinking about it. In fact, I got I got a comment on my last video um from from one of those scammers. It was horrible. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's like these guys have nothing better to do with their lives than just con people. I mean, Jesus, get a life, okay? Some of us are actually trying to be genuine YouTubers out here, okay? And some of us aren't in it for the money or the views or the or the subscribers. We're in it because we want to do it, like me. <sighs> Sorry. I'm sorry if, you, if if this was a little bit of a rant. I just, I just, I had to say something. I had to. I had to say something. I, w I was gonna be, I was gonna be upset with myself if I didn't eventually say something. If I didn't eventually say something, I was gonna be very upset with myself. Okay, sorry. I had to cut there for a second, and I went through a red light. I went through a red light. Yay me. Yay me. Went through a red light. Okay. Um, but yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, hope you guys didn't mind me ranting on and on and on and on and on about that. But I had to say something because I've been... I, I literally realized that I was being scammed like maybe a few, uh, two to three weeks. After like two to three weeks of making videos... And I actually looked this guy this guy up. Then I realized um, I was being scammed, and he had already scammed a bunch of people. And this uh, the combo Canadian scam thing, Majig. He started last year. He started in 2019. The combo started in 2019. Um, but actually, or maybe that's a new one because I don't know. Because he got ban I heard he got banned, but then. He used the, uh, uh, you know, someone took control of my account gimmick, probably, and uh, got himself unbanned. So, um, you know, guys, if any of these, you know, scam spammers come up on your account, just, um, just, if any of these guys come up on your account, just, re just report it as spam. Report them. 
um, because we need we need to make a stand against spammers because it's it's disgusting. It's really it is disgusting. So yeah, I just I just thought I'd tell you guys because I need I need I need to say I, I've said this, I've already said this a bunch of times, but I needed to say something. I could not stand idly by because uh, I'm not doing this just for me. I'm doing this for the for all of us, all YouTubers, all time, all YouTube, all YouTubers who you know don't have let's say you know a couple thousand subscribers all youtubers that maybe you have you know 10 subscribers or 100 subscribers or 200 subscribers or even 500 subscribers just i'm doing this for all of you guys because we need to stick together and youtubing is um i mean okay i don't I don't want to make it. I don't, I don't, I don't want to put myself on a pedestal. I'm not trying not to. But like YouTubing, sometimes I feel YouTubing isn't the easiest thing. It's not easy. To me, it's to me it's not easy. Maybe to some people it looks like it's easy, but to me it's not easy. Because you know when it comes to game, like for example, when it comes to games, um, typically if you want to keep subscribers, typically you want to make have on a regular basis put out content. Um, and sometimes you know stuff happens, and sometimes you might be tired, and you might feel like because like a few weeks back, I went like a whole month without posting any videos simply because I was lazy and did not feel like pulling out the recording equipment to make the videos. Um, so it takes effort, does take effort, takes takes some time. Um, I know people who probably spend lots and lots of time, you know, modifying and editing their videos. Um, and speaking of which, I still need to, I mean, like, think of all the time that goes into, like, for all the YouTubers that have theme songs, and, you know, use other people's music, and make credit, you know, ending credits, stuff like that, um, that's a lot of work, that is a lot of work that goes into that, to that sort of stuff, um, so it's not exactly, um, easy, I mean, I don't think it's exactly easy, so, then again, you know, that's just, that's just my personal opinion, YouTubing could be a cinch, it could be a cinch for you, but for me, it it has definitely not been a cinch. And I think the reason why, um, the reason why I think I feel really sad and stupid about the reason why I gave up YouTubing, um, although uh, a couple years ago, because the reason why I gave up YouTubing a couple years ago, and we're at level thirty nine. Congratulations to everyone. Um, this is why I gave up YouTubing years ago was because I kind of expected instant results. Like I kind of expected to get subscribers instantly, but I learned quickly that that's not how it works. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day, and you're not gonna get a thousand subscribers in a day. Uh, now, sure, I'm sure you'll get to a point where you do get thousand subscribe a thousand subscribers in a day, but um, that's not how it's gonna be right off the bat. That's not how it's gonna be. Um, it just depends. I, I think when it comes to YouTubing. Um, first of all, what's really important is the YouTube algorithm. If you want people to see your videos, you have to do something that people, the general people are going to like. Um, because if something that people don't, that, pe that a whole lot of people like, more likely they're not going to, uh, your videos aren't going to be that popular. Because how do you, the, so when I'm talking about the YouTube algorithm, and you can learn this from YouTube. Literally, you can learn this from YouTube. What I'm talking about is, like, when you open up YouTube, you have a YouTube feed. Your YouTube feed is your feed. Your YouTube feed is based off of what videos you've watched. So YouTube all the time scans what you watch and says, "Okay, so Johnny likes the so has watched these type of videos. So based on that, I'm gonna suggest these videos to him." Um, yeah, I know, I'll get fine, but I don't care. Oh, wait, no, I didn't get fine. Okay, cool. Um, so, based on those videos, I'm going to suggest these videos. And that's how pe your videos can be discovered. Um, and so, you know, once again, if it's something that not a lot of people are excited about or like, your videos won't get, people won't even see a video come up on their YouTube feed and won't even watch it because they won't even know that it's there. So you cannot expect like I did instant results because it's not going to happen. You're not going to have instant results. Um, 
Yeah, okay, there it is. I got to find that time. Um, you, you're not going to have instant results. Um, all you, what I think to do is that, like for example, my videos are not exactly super duper duper popular, but I'm just keeping that. I'm just posting videos, and I think over time, if I just keep at it, keep posting videos, making, you know, doing games and making gaming videos every day, um, I'll just, people will start to see my videos. And maybe, you know, people will like my content and maybe you'll get subscribers. That's, that's, that's how, that's my, that's my viewpoint on it. Um, you know, just be patient. Be patient and you'll get subscribers. I mean, in maybe the last month. Oh, come on. Come on, Mike. That's not, that's not cool. Um, maybe in the last month, I've gotten an increase in subscribers. Well, two, I told them about me, and they said, okay, we'll subscribe to you. And then one, one naturally actually subscribe, actually, one person actually subscribed to me because I guess they wanted to. So, um, yeah. 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 It's, um, it's a work in progress. This channel is a work in progress. And as soon as I'm able. Um, no promises as of yet because I don't know when I'm going to be able to. Um, I will include Xbox games, console games on the channel. I just got one of the games I want to do is Forza Horizon 4. Um, but I want a system of how, I, how I'm going to do it. Like, how am I going to do Forza Horizon 4? Like, how is, how is it going to work? Um, so it's just stuff like that. Because I'm, when it comes to, it's funny. When it comes to things like my games and my YouTube video and how I make videos, I'm very, very organized. Very organized. Like, for example, I have totally different days. So each day I focus on a different games. So, for example, today, if I make any gaming videos, it's going to be of this game right here, Trek Simulation 19. Tomorrow, if I make any videos, it's going to be about Hunger Shark Evolution. And then the next day, it's going to be about Asphalt 8. And the cycle just repeats itself. Um, I got 16,000. Cool. Cool job, bro. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it. That's basically it. Um, and I keep on saying this again. I keep on saying this because... And the reason why I'm now see some of you might wonder why I'm so adamant about putting Jurassic World the game back on the channel. I already have some episode episodes of it on, and it didn't do so well. So why would I be trying it again? Well, first of all, first of all, the reason why Jurassic World the game didn't get the 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 views and response that I thought it was going to get was mostly because let me set a waypoint was mostly because um, by that by the time I had started playing Jurassic World the game by the time I started playing it um, very little youtubers had were playing it anymore I mean the only youtuber the only major youtuber that's really playing Jurassic World the game now is Beaver James Beaver the game aka the gaming beaver which I talk about quite a lot but um, <laughs> he's the only person who still majorly plays the game. And I originally started this channel to make Jurassic World the game video. So, of course, I, that's that's really right now my priority. My priority is are those kind of kinds are those kinds of videos. So, um, I'm waiting to get. If you're wondering what's the holdup, I'm waiting to get to the right battle stage. I'm waiting to get to the, to a battle stage. That's what I'm waiting for. A battle stage. Um, I'm waiting to get to battle stage. I think it's 56 where I unlock a new dinosaur. Um, and once I get to that battle stage, I unlock the mission for it. Um, we'll, we'll, we will record. We will record and do that battle, and then do uh, uh, then we'll, we'll start events, and then I'll restart. I'll do like a reboot of the series. It'll be great. You guys will have fun. I'll have fun, and then I will have officially have up to four games four games um that i'll be uh making videos of on my channel um i never expected to actually do this many games i really didn't i mean what did i mean the plans i always have for this channel were continually altered they were continually altered um started out with jurassic world the game 
that didn't go as well and I eventually stopped recording altogether and then um, I want to do console games and that didn't work exactly as planned either so I gave up on that and then I it's been so actually I've been recording for a while now for a couple months so much so that I don't even know why I even started recording this game I think it's because I got into American Truck Simulator and I was like you know I'm playing a truck simulator game right now. Why don't I just record episodes of that? And I just started it too. So it'll, it'll be fun. So, um, sorry guys if I talked too much. That was my little rant about, you know, recording and history and my plans and well, Jurassic World the game and how this channel got started. Um, spammers, how to watch out for those guys. And I feel like I talked about something else. Oh, yeah, my first copyright issue type stuff. It was it was great um so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys have a wonderful tuesday um if you like this video make sure to leave a like if you want to say something in the comments be sure to leave leave it in the comments make sure it's positive though don't, don't, don't give me any you know i'll say say your video was horrible type crap people will do that i hate that when people do that um because if you don't like my if you don't like my videos that's okay I don't need your verbal, I don't need your typed confirmation that you don't like my videos. We have a dislike button for a reason. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. I saw that came off as dirt. I apologize. Um, and then finally, um, if you like the videos I make, subscribe to my channel. Because I post at least one video every single day. At least. I try, I try, to, I try to be loyal to my curfew. So... Um, hope you guys have a, have a wonderful day with that said, peace out.